everyone welcome back to my channel so this is a completely different video from anything that I've ever posted it is not a baseball video I know shocker it is a three month spam video of me going to the gym and basically it was like a transformation video I want to say I don't know I don't even know how to describe it but this is a video of me going to the gym with my trainer Nick who is a personal trainer at Barbell Effect um, Barbell Effect is a private gym located in Phoenix. If I'll leave the information below if you do decide you want to like give it a shot. But yes, um, I've been going there for over a year. Um, Nick barely started being my trainer a couple months ago. When I first started, um, I had somebody else. It just, I'm not going to trash talk them or anything like that. But just didn't work out. And... Um, I should have recorded this video a while back, but because there was so much inconsistency, I was not able to. But now that I have the consistency, tis time, tis time. So this video for me is going to be very raw in the sense of you're going to see the workouts, you're going to see when I'm just like <sighs> annoyed, fed up, can't push through, or I'm dying, push through meals that I've made for myself, random going to like outside of the private gym settings. And also videos of me where I'm just at a point where I'm like, why am I going to the gym? Or I don't feel like going today. Because sometimes you see all these like transformation videos, but you don't really see the, the struggle that goes in between all that. Especially with somebody like me who goes through like anxiety, depression, body dysphoria, just a lot. And... Um, I really want to incorporate all that and show you guys what the real process is because although ooh, my hair looks really black right now but it's not <laughs> um, but I um, I just want to incorporate all that because going through something like this is not easy I don't care what anybody says there will be days where you will be your self-esteem will be on the floor your motivation non-existent so i do want to incorporate all that but i'm gonna just keep blah 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 bling, and this is too much of a long intro as it is but so this will be showing a video video starting in september october going through december maybe i'll get maybe the first two weeks of january who knows but if you like this video or stay tuned for watching it i we all know my intros are horrible. Okay, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. Thumbs up this video. Hit the notification bell for when I post. And let's get to it. We are going to be starting in September, October. I'll put the dates. But yeah, let's get to it. What up, everybody? Coach Nick here with Barbell Effect. Screw. Right yep, Barbell Effect. Um, I am coach for Stephanie. I'm the one that's always kicking her ass. So if you're interested in getting your ass kicked uh, for a workout, come through to Barbell Effect. 35th Ave and Southern. Take care. This is the gym. It's Barbell Effect training facility. It's kind of big. All of them. She.
Today is week three of bringing you guys along on this fitness journey that will take about three months, obvio. And let me just tell you, outside of recording like my workouts and stuff like that, and I'll be showing you what I eat sometimes. I want to show you guys the times where I'm feeling down about this whole thing or I'm getting discouraged or I'm frustrated or I'm angry and today is just one of those I didn't really feel like coming. I really wanted to go home after work and sleep but I'm here and it's not always like sunshines and rainbows i mean the gym's never sunshines and rainbows but it's never something that like i personally do not look forward to going to the gym but i do look forward to going on days that i want to release anger i kind of have some anger after i watch the dodgers play but i get discouraged a lot and i'm the kind of person that if i personally don't feel like i'm getting to a good place I'm fed up and I don't want to do it anymore but obviously like I'll take pictures and I will kind of be like okay it's getting there it's getting there and I probably like as the months go on will try I need to figure this out with the whole editing thing we'll be posting like how I look monthly because this will be three months this month is harder on me because it is my birthday month and you know, it's it's the junk food era. And I'm trying so hard to, like, be good. But I know for a fact I'll be bad on my birthday. And that's fine. We all are allowed to have a cheat meal. Might be a cheat day. But, you know, as long as I don't make it, turn it into a habit. But I will be pushing myself on going to the gym outside of this to run. Because it's a private facility. But yeah, we are here and I am ready to get my butt whooped. I'm pretty sure it's gonna be like arms and back or back or just back, back and just arms. I don't know. But I did not want to bring you guys again on a weekend because this man loves to make me do legs on the weekends it looks like. And I don't want to just show legs because it's more than just legs.
but it is day two. My trainer just got here, so I don't know if I should get out right now. Nah, I'm gonna wait. I'll give him a couple minutes to prep because I don't want to go in. <laughs> I really don't want to go in. But, you know, you gotta do what you gotta do. So we did legs on Thursday. I'm still feeling it. Why do I feel like it's always day two that sucks? But we'll see. I think we're doing arms or back. I don't know. But we here. So I guess we should go in. <laughs>
morning. Today is November 3rd. It is like 6.40 in the morning. I have a training session at 7 a.m. First of all, you go to the gym super early. Respects. I have been trying to find a way to get myself to go card to do cardio at 5 a.m. and I can't because I don't know. It's just a struggle. But today we are doing I don't even know what we're doing today. We did legs, so we're definitely not hitting legs today, thank God. Um <laughs> I don't know what we are doing today. But I know that he said we're doing measurements today. I hate measurement day. Um it's one of those things where it's like you either are doing well or you hit a plateau or you're doing bad um I did weigh myself earlier in the week and I did give Nick my weight um I don't weigh myself at the gym I'll do it at work when nobody's watching <laughs> um because honestly like the scale to me is not your friend never has been never will be um it's a hit or miss for me I can either get really encouraged or I can get discouraged at the same or discouraged but I have been training with Nick since like mid, yeah, like about mid-August. We are what, beginning of November. So I have lost a total of seven pounds training with Nick. Um, but I want to hit double digits by de before December. Obviously because one, it's for me. All this I'm doing is for me. All this is for me to show you guys that <clears throat> this is not an easy process and I can't tell you how many times I have gotten discouraged and I should record myself more often when I get discouraged so you guys can see that. But um, so I want, I put this goal on myself. I want to be, well, lose about five pounds or more by Thanksgiving. Well, Nick said by Thanksgiving. Um, so I can be double digits by December. Can I do it? I'm hoping so. But that means I have to hit cardio, which means I have to go to the public gym, which means I have to get over this public gym anxiety that I have. Um, I did buy anxiety rings, though, because my nails are suffering. Because I feel like something that hits me the most is my anxiety. I get anxious about everything. And I know I shouldn't, but I am learning to try to, like, Take it down a notch but I what time is it right now 6 45 have to be in there in five minutes to start stretching um we'll see if I can get Nick to like introduce himself all that fun stuff um if I do get him to introduce himself this video's gonna it's that clip's gonna be like in the beginning of this video because all over your like we're what one month in of recording and I'm like oh yeah meet my trainer but yes, so my bet is arms or back today. I kind of hope back because that's one of my insecurities. But yeah, I'll see you guys in there.
Okay, so <sighs> Nick messaged me earlier today asking if I want to bump up to three times a week because I do have that goal that I try want to get into double digits of weight lost in three months, which will be three months for us in January, in December, I mean. No, this month. I don't know. But yeah, I think I'm going to do it. Um, so we did measurements. I think I made a video. I think there's clips, yes, but I didn't show my number. So I did. I don't know if it was the shirt, but I think my shoulder had an inch. My thighs had some inches lost. But I think the, most, the one thing I was really proud of is that my waist. I think it was like I lost two inches off my waist, which was really like a uh, moment for me because that's one of the things I wanted to work on. But I'm at the, here outside ready to go. And let's just go to the gym. Hopefully I don't cry today. I have a feeling today's leg day. <laughs> is my third session of the week we did not start our three week sessions just yet yesterday was a makeup session um so fun times and today is a push day i forgot what a push day was so i'm kind of terrified low-key but yes we are going to be doing three times a week moving forward I think next week probably I can't. We can't, but moving forward, yes, three times a week. 
You know, I remember how much I used to like going to the gym. I mean, I still like it, but I think because I was at a gym that I was very comfortable at and then it shut down during COVID. So, um, it just changed my whole outlook because I don't really like LA Fitness. Um, <laughs> I don't really try to go to LA Fitness, but I do need to push myself to do cardio over there. But So maybe we'll have a cardio moment in between this next week. Um, overall though, I do feel a lot better. My mental health has been struggling a bit. Um... Surprised I have not cried yet during these sessions. I wanted to, but I haven't. Um, <sighs> like, all I can really say is uh, let's just get to this workout. this week let me just tell you i really didn't want to come today i should have taken it as a sign when i forgot my energy drink and i'm just i'm just going through it right now and you know i just i just feel ugh. i've wanted to cry I pretty much have cried all week i've just been on one i guess emotionally and times like this makes me want to quit and be done with all this but I feel like this has somewhat kept me sane as well so I did get my first battle scar that cute little blister that you see right here it's so annoying but I guess I can go in now before it start training but yeah did want to share that
27th. I did run in San Diego for a day. <clears throat> I did post clips. But I didn't run after that because my back got like inflamed and it was it was not it. That's probably like the one thing I will complain about is that once my back hurts, it's a wrap. It just it just gets <clears throat> and it just it feels like a burning sensation. But today I really didn't feel like coming. I I feel kind of discouraged a bit annoyed because i see it everywhere but the place that bothers me the most i feel but i know everything is a work in progress everything takes time and emotionally i'm just so that has to play in it as well but we're just gonna keep pulling push push we're going to keep pushing ourselves forward because What's the point of getting the body I want surgically? Not that they're saying there's nothing wrong with that, but surgically, what's the point of me doing that when I know for a fact I didn't really work for it outside of just giving my money away? So we're, we're pushing, pushing, pushing through. I'm debating if I want to walk in. Just time, I feel like I should walk in, but we will see. Nick's outside right now, so hopefully he doesn't think I'm dilly dallying, dilly dallying, dilly dallying, whatever. I am, not even gonna lie. But let's go because I have a feeling today's leg day, so it's going to suck. <laughs> Welcome, Welcome back. <laughs> I want to see this video in 10 years. Yeah. 10 years, I'll be back in jail. Rich and swole. You said what? You're going to be dead? What? No, I'm not. Hey, Jack. Hey, Jack. Hey, Jack.
just be because I took a week off um, I got sick so I could not go to the gym so we are back after having a week off I'm weirdly like I don't get excited about going to the gym but I'm actually happy I'm back I was going crazy just because I think I'm used to just my routine so we are back today I'm pretty sure Nick's gonna kick my butt couple weeks left before this video goes live but obviously if you're watching this it already went live whatever but I'm ready I feel like my body recovered enough let's hope it did Saturday. Normally I come early, but not today. It's gonna be like 8:40. Let me tell you, I woke up at 5 a.m. ready to gym, and when I realized that I wasn't gonna be here till nine, I mean it is what it is. It's literally wrapping up almost three months of filming. Jesus Christ. 
I can't believe it, honestly. I feel like I've gotten stronger. I mean, obviously, like, we are our biggest critics. I am the the hardest on myself. You will see my see me kick myself down like 50 times a day pretty much and this light sucks right now but it is what it is so we're gonna go in i'm pretty sure it's either gonna be back or full body since we did legs on monday and let me tell you on monday did not even feel like i got my butt whooped until like tuesday and wednesday when my legs were like but it's 8.43. I still have a couple minutes left before I go in there. Kind of prolonging it in a way. But <sighs> Saturday gym, everybody. You don't want to be here, but you have to be here. You kind of don't want to come, but you have to come. Two weeks left of the 2023, so you have to get it together. So I'm here, I guess. Sorry, Nick. enough of that so the major thing today we need to learn is make sure you get your pets spayed and neutered that's the big thing guys It is 6.40 in the morning on a Saturday, and I'm here. I was here yesterday at 5 a.m. It's okay. We got to think about the long-term goals. <laughs> I am not a morning gym girly. I'm sorry.
we are hitting the last week of December, last week of 2023, which means I have like two, three more weeks of recording left before I post this. <sighs> Let me just tell you, I don't know. I don't know how I feel if I look any different or anything, it's nothing against like what I'm doing. It's just, I feel like I have body dysphoria, dysphoria. Ow. Like I look in the mirror and I see an oompa, an oompa loompa. I see this little pelotita de masa or butter, manteca, 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 walking around, wobbling like a penguin or something. So. I can never be the one to be like, oh yeah, I'm losing weight. Oh yeah, I'm losing inches unless I'm trying on clothes and I kind of like, okay, you know. But still, when I look in the mirror, I see this. Like, not a heart. This. Why? It's been like that since, ever since I could remember, which is probably when I actually got really sick. I never realized that, you know. I wish I could have gone. I'm not. I'm kidding. I'm not. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. But yeah, I feel like today might be leg day. I am prepped for leg. Mentally prepped for my leg day. <sighs> you know, this is no one ever really talks about like how hard it is. How hard it is to like do everything, eat right, work, come to the gym three times, two times a week. Like, it's not all about, like, yeah, I'm going to the gym. I got this. I got... No, it, it's really not like that. There are, <laughs> there are times where I'm like, let me lock my door real quick. There are times where I'm just like, pa qué? Why am I going? What's the point? <sighs> but, yeah. So, I... I guess I'm ready to go in. I still got like 10 more minutes, but yeah. Let's see how today goes. It is Tuesday, January 2nd. First workout of 2024, and I have a feeling it's gonna be a long leg day. But we are here. We are literally <clears throat> home stretch, almost done. 
with the video at least not training training was gonna be for a while but I'm here we are ready to go we are gonna think about positive 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 thoughts that is something that I do want to focus on this year and let me just tell you life is testing me truly testing me but it's okay I'm just gonna look at the positive side because if not I'm gonna cry and I'm not trying to cry today <laughs> I've cried enough last year, two days ago, whatever. But, I guess, let's just do this. Ivan the Stooky here. Oh, where the fuck? Ow! I'm definitely going Today is my last day recording. It's been like three months now with Nick, or three to four months. It's been definitely a journey so far. Um, editing the video, I did kind of, I did notice somewhat of a difference from when I first started to now. I mean, I am not that much of an Oompa Loompa, but I'm still a little Oompa Loompa. Everyone gets mad at me because I say that, but that's how I feel. So just kind of let me express that. Um, I feel better, a little bit better about myself. I'm trying, I'm just learning how to be more positive and... I have Nick to thank for that because Nick always gives me a hard time when I'm negative. And so he's like, nope, you can do this. Let's go. Let's go. So I do owe a lot of this to him. Don't tell him I said that. <laughs> but yes, I do owe a lot to Nick. I'm very grateful for Nick. And I had mentioned how I did train before Nick and it just didn't work out with that person. And I'm very glad that I reached out to the gym when I did. Because I don't think I'd be here right now. So I did kind of show you guys some. I did want to show you guys some before. 
So this was like a, a month, two, one to two months, or even three months before I started working out with Nick. This was like, I was still trying to figure out my training situation. But yes, so this was before I started working out with Nick. Notice bulkier arms, la pansota. Body dysphoria, sorry guys. So now, this, vid this video, this picture I did take about a week ago. So this is new. Can't, is it good? Okay. So it's not as like the Hulk. My arms aren't that like, they're a little bit more toned. My back is not that big anymore. The panza's getting there. And I don't know what I do that I keep doing that. But yes, I do see a difference in a way. My self-esteem and my body dysphoria does not let me adva fully advantage of it. Fully see what a difference it has been because I am, and we all are, our toughest critics. Um, I did feel really good because I, I don't know if it was this week or last week. Um, Nick came out. <laughs> um, <laughs> One of the girls told me that she saw a difference in me, so it completely, like, made my day. But, yeah, so now I'm gonna go wrap things up with Nick last session, last recording. And, as always, guys, thank you so much for watching. This is probably the most vulnerable you'll ever see me in a video. Because this is, like, one of my weak spots. But, yes, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share all that fun stuff. And I'll see you guys next time. Next time, baseball season will be starting. So come down, squeeze, engage the core, stretch, squeeze, stretch. What's everybody? What's up, everybody? Ah! <laughs> um, so three months is up, and we've got strong as can I cut? Yeah, you can cut. Strong as fuck. <laughs> yep, lost some inches, lost some weight. Did a lot of things I thought I could never do. He did make me cry. We all saw that. Once. Like twice, but we didn't get the second time. Oh. I was ready to cry the first time. Okay. That was the second time. So, no. Um, but yeah, um, I would say too, more noticeably, I think more so like January, you've been coming in with a lot more like a positive attitude. Not to say it was like a negative attitude, but... It was a lot of I can't do it. Yes, a lot of I can'ts. Um, but a lot more positivity with your training, a lot less doubt in your training. So I've noticed that, and I, I think that's a great positive, transitioning into just general life, you know. Thank you, you have to deal with me. <laughs> Same. <laughs> right? Yeah. Um, yeah. Okay, I think that's good.